avoid both of them. That is being oblivious to the obvious fact that you put yourself at greater risk of dying from breast cancer if you skip either one of them. And another thing, it baffles me that women fear breast cancer more than anything, and yet they sabotage their opportunity to find it early and to cure it. Do you see how some of these things don't make any sense? Okay, here's number 13. Blaming HRT for causing breast cancer when you've only taken it for a few months constitutes being completely oblivious. You know, people love to blame their problems on something or someone other than themselves. That's part of human nature. Over and over, I hear women say, I started taking HRT and I was diagnosed with breast cancer two months later. This is being completely oblivious to how cancer develops. Every cancer begins as just one single cell that goes crazy. And that one single cell divides into two. And those two cells divide into four. And so on until it's large enough to diagnose as a cancer. But this takes time. It takes about seven years for a breast cancer to grow from a single cell to the size of about a small grape that you can detect on breast exam or mammogram. There is no way that a few months of HRT can cause breast cancer. And there's actually no evidence that HRT causes breast cancer at all. <laughs> so this is an area of massive degrees of obliviousness. And one final area of being oblivious to the obvious aspects of menopause. This is about your family history. If you focus more on your family history than you do on your own life and your own habits, you are being oblivious. I encounter women all the time who will go on and on telling me about their mother, what their mother's periods were like, what their mother went through with her menopause, how their mother responded to HRT, all the diseases their mother had. The problem is that you are not your mother. Your mother's menopause is not your menopause. And the same thing goes for your sister your grandmother, and all your other relatives. You are you. Focus on you. If you don't, you are being oblivious to the obvious aspects of menopause. So there you have it, 14 areas in which you might be oblivious to the obvious aspects of menopause. Were you finding yourself in any of those? Do you know people who were examples of any of those? You see, these are things I encounter every single day, over and over again. It's shocking that the same things come up so frequently. I mean, I don't think people compare notes on this stuff. This is all about human nature. These are psychological things. These are things about the way the human mind works, the way we behave as, as humans, and the way we deny things, and the way we try to make things something that they aren't. But do you understand how illogical these things are? And, you know, logic doesn't always work for people. I mean, people aren't always okay with the logic. Sometimes they have reasons outside the logic for thinking or behaving the way they do. And I actually have women say to me, I know this is illogical, but, and then they tell me one of these things that I express to you. So my goal with these topics that I pick is to bring certain things to your attention because, you know, I have women tell me all the time that they feel like I was talking directly to them. They say, you know, you hit the nail on the head. I couldn't believe how that was so me. And I want you to know that you're normal. I mean, I'm just making sure you have the information you need. Whatever you do with it is your business. I am here to make sure I bring things to your attention so that you don't operate and make decisions based on misinformation and obliviousness. My goal is to save you from fearing or worrying about the wrong things. And 
this is the kind of thing that every woman deserves. I mean, once you come face to face with facts, you are able to make decisions any way you want, of course. And you can either act on the fact or you can act on your misconceptions or worries. You, but you know the difference. When you don't know the difference, when you don't realize that you're being oblivious to something, that is the dangerous place to be because you it's like walking along a path. And if you start on a path with something that's oblivious and you stay on that path, you know, you look up one day and you realize that you've gotten way, 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 way off course. So my goal is to make sure that you catch yourself before you are so far off course that you, that there's, you're, you're at the point of no return. So when I present this material to you and I point out these areas that are very common and very oblivious to most people, I hope that you catch yourself and go back and try to connect the dots, fill in the gaps. And this is why I tell you to watch my videos, listen to my podcasts, read my book, do whatever you do educationally in order, consecutive order, because an education helps you connect dots. It helps you see how one thing relates to the other and it keeps you from being confused. I think a lot of the oblivious things that people experience come about because they don't have the glue that's necessary to connect dots and make sense of things. And my goal is to do that for you by educating you in a way that brings all the facts to you and lets you kind of mull over them. And I want them, I want you rummaging around in your head with these things. I want you thinking about them in a way that allows you to really come to terms with what you consider logical. Um, if you want to address any of these things more deeply with me, you should schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. I do them with women all over the world. And what I'll do is I'll help you tailor all the facts specifically to you. Just go to my website. It's menopausetailor.me. You can schedule a session. Um, I do them by video conferencing. It's very easy. I give you the opportunity to send me all your personal information and tell me your whole story. And basically... We cover everything you possibly could want to cover in a consultation because you have the opportunity to tell me everything in advance. And I send you a document 72 hours in advance addressing everything. So most women feel like they got their money's worth before they ever have the consultation because they have this document. Most of the documents are over 50 pages long. <laughs> and they tell you everything. I give you the whole education and I insert all your particulars into it so that you get the information you need and you see how it applies to you. And then during the consultation, we can use the time for whatever you want. You can ask more questions. You can start working on your plans for managing your menopause. You can fine tune things. You can clarify misconceptions. I'm at your service during a consultation to do whatever you want. And women just love, 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 love the fact that they have this help. I help them navigate. I help them navigate their menopause, understanding the science, tailoring everything to them, the medical system, your insurance system, how to get what you want. I'll just teach you everything. That is the power of this education. So I invite you to go to my website schedule a consultation. There's articles you can read. If you want the whole education more rapidly, then you can get it from these podcasts or my YouTube channel. You, you should buy my book or you can get the whole education as a set of 15 webinars, or you can get it in a set of DVDs, two DVDs. It's about 14 hours. It gives you the whole education, but even whatever you do, get the whole education and then you can do whatever you want and you can do it successfully and not feel like you are oblivious to the obvious aspects of menopause. I will tell you goodbye now. I'm Menopause Taylor. I'll see you next time. Thank you for listening in. Bye. <laughs>